I guess I've always been doing art, uh, some form or another. This is actually sort of my second career. My first career was in theater performance, and that was my first degree. And then um, after a while, I sort of felt like felt like what I was doing was not quite as fulfilling as it was when I started out. And so I started to look at different ways, different, different outlets, I guess, uh, as an artist. Um, and because I have always enjoyed playing video games, um, this was an avenue that I started to explore. Um, I entered the industry, well, from high school I went to the Art Institute. Uh, I always knew that I wanted to work in art, and uh, I saw an opportunity to work in games, and I couldn't uh, pass it out because I've been a gamer for my entire life. Um, I did work my way up from QA into being an artist. Some of the challenges for getting into the industry would probably be getting that first chance. Uh, when you're first starting out and you don't have any experience, it's tough to get your foot in the door. Um, which is why I ended up working up for QA. I would just keep on um, offering to help out with different uh, art tasks and, and getting that chance to um, prove yourself. The most important thing for me was making sure that my portfolio was just the best that I could possibly make it, that it looked as slick as I could possibly you know, make this art look to make sure that I was competitive against all these other people that had been doing this. Um, I started here right after finishing up my second degree. Um, and I think that what made me competitive was, I mean, beyond sort of personal drive and just wanting it to happen and making sure that I was working as hard as I possibly could um, to learn the things that I thought I needed to know and to bring my, my art skills up to speed is that, is that I really, really, really focused on making sure that the art that I was putting in my portfolio and the way that I was representing myself to the company was, 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 was as perfect as I could make it. Um, there are no works in progress. There were no works in progress in my portfolio. It was, it was done. And that got me an art test here at Ready at Dawn. Having that portfolio that looked so great without having any prior industry experience, like that's, that's how I got in, was, was because it looked good, because it looked really good. And then, once I got the art test, I worked really hard on that too. <laughs> But the foot in the door, I think, that that initial thing was the portfolio. I'd say, um, as advice for coming to work at Ready at Dawn, um, look at the very best art that you can find, and then make something better. And then that goes in your portfolio on that. As long as you can show that you have, say, the drive to do the very, very best, then you'll get an art test, and then don't blow off the art test. <laughs> Uh, I think to hone and improve your skill set, uh, you just keep looking at the best art out there that there is and then try to do things that are similar and then always look at uh, getting advice on forums, show off your work to people that are friends, to people that are in the industry that are better than you. Just keep, uh, keep improving yourself all the time. Practice. Yeah, practice for sure. Yeah. Um. As far as maybe times when I wanted to give up, times when I felt it was tough or, or I wasn't sure if this was for me, I think that, that it was maybe when I was struggling to learn the different software packages and I was feeling like there was just no way that this was ever gonna happen. I don't understand, I can't remember. I wanna do, I wanna make it look like this, but I don't know how. And I think that, I think that when that happens, there's, you just keep pushing through it and eventually there'll be a moment when it kind of clicks. And then you're just like, oh, okay. And then it, and then it sort of evens out for a while and it's kind of smooth sailing for a little bit until you reach the next hurdle, but you just gotta keep we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep pushing through the, the frustration.
There have been times that have been very difficult to push through. That's definitely true, but back when I was in school, my favorite teacher said, the worst day in game development is still better than the best day doing anything else. And I just think about that. And it's absolutely true for me because in the end, it's gonna be worth it because we're gonna make something amazing.